So what do you get if Airtable has intimate relations with SmartSuite, Notion and ClickUp? Well, get ready for some gourmet no-code action. I've just spent 24 hours with Fibery.io and these are my first impressions. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alex and on this channel we talk about anything and everything low-code, databases, automations, AI, you freaking name it. We do it. Without any further ado, let's get stuck in. Now, let's kick things off with the website. And as you can tell, the website is looking really, really cool. They kind of like appeal to the builder in me and especially in the sense that they there is like a sense of mess to structure. Overall, I feel like the design is very, very clean. Now, if uh, just like me, you keep seeing the word feedback everywhere, it adds up to a fantastic espresso drinking game. I mean, let's try this out. I'll take a sip every single time and I'm not even like halfway through, through the page. I'll take a sip every single time we see the word feedback, right? So feedback, 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 feedback. You get the point, right? <laughs> but overall, joking aside, they are kind of trying to appeal to the people who collect feedback and they try to organize it into one place. But I've spent a little bit of time with the platform. It's so much more than that. They are trying to find their niche, I feel. But dude, this is going to work for a lot of other people. Now, let's jump in and see what the actual builder interface looks like. So as soon as you log in, the first thing that you see is this getting started page. And to me, this was very helpful. It kind of explained to me very quickly what the terminology is and all the good stuff. I mean, I also spend a little bit of time getting myself used to the whole workflow with this quick little video. It helped, but ultimately it's a nice easy, super simple way to get you acquainted with how the system works. You don't have to overthink it, basically. You can just give people a quick little page, a couple of sentences, and if your product is good enough, they should be able to get it, right? Now, let's try and build something with Fibery, shall we? Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel now, please help us out. We're trying to reach the goal of 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year. We're about halfway through the year, and through the goal, so it would be lovely if you can help us out with that. Now, let's just build something with Fibery, and I think you'll agree that it's super easy, super straightforward to do so. On this left-hand side, we have all of our spaces, and yeah, it kind of works in a very similar vein to a lot of other low-code database project management tools. Essentially, you have your database. In my case, I have a database called sales db inside of that database i have other databases well tables really orders order line items and products and you kind of get two versions of this i initially thought that this was my grid view but it's not this is essentially your database view in my humble opinion the database view looks better than the grid view but anyway we'll get to views in a sec so Creating a new database is super straightforward. As you can see, I'm missing clients. So let's create a new database. Let's call this clients. I can very easily rearrange this. I can give this a name. So John Doe, you can create new views from here, but ultimately all I wanna do is just, let's say, link this to my order. Super straightforward, right? Should be. So let's just delete this field description. There's no need deleting and let's just create a new field. And this is going to be a relation to which database. Well, I want it to be related to orders. And just like you can do with Airtable, you can relate it back to itself. Let's relate it to orders. And this is really cool. I really like this because here I can actually say, okay, client has many orders, orders has one client and you can change that. It's really handy, especially for beginner users to understand the relationships of a relational database. Now, Fibery, they're trying to not call themselves a relational database, but at its core, especially when you're starting up, it is a relational database. So let's create that field. Let's link this guy to an order. 
I'm going to link it to order number one. If I want to open up order one, I can. And it opens up in this very interesting way. Let me actually change my theme. By the way, shout out to Fiberry for having a dark theme. But yeah, so here we are. We have this little bar here. So if I want to go back to my DB clients, I can just click on it and that's it. If I want to open up an order, it kind of opens it up in this little, that's not little, it's actually a huge page, but it's really nice because I can see that record. I wish, I honestly wish that it was a pop-up, not like change my whole view of what's going on, but I'm just nitpicking basically. So if I go back to orders, I will see a backward link created to clients. I feel like we should clap at this point because so many database builders, low code database systems don't do this. And this is absolutely stupid. You should create a backward relationship to the relational field that you just created. Gladly, Fibery does this very well. If I want to check out what John is like, I can. Nothing more, nothing less. The interface is really, really straightforward. So you won't have any issues creating your database very quickly, very intuitively, especially if you come from a background of maybe smart suite, Airtable, that sort of thing. You should be just fine with Fiber. All right, now let's talk about views. And Fiber has got a ton of different options for views. Now, generally speaking, I want to begin with the grid view. I'm not a huge fan of how the grid view looks or works, mainly because of the grouping or rather the lack of grouping. You can group things, but it's really not ideal. Like it doesn't really sum up anything. As you can see here, I'm grouping by the order and it's a bit naff. I'm not a huge fan of how the grid view per se works. But in general terms, there are multiple options for boards, lists. I don't understand how different the table and list is, but ultimately a timeline, which is kind of like a Gantt chart, calendar, feeds, whatever, map, and even form. Now, I'm a sucker for a great form builder experience. That is the beginning of your database collecting data. What's the point of a database if you can't collect data properly? And usually, local database builders like Fibery and many, many, many others, they don't care about how the form builder experience feels and looks like. So let's see if Fibery is any different. And they're not. <laughs> so they're not any different. Their form builder is quite basic. They don't really even have any kind of way to have like a conditional logic embedded in your form. It's very basic. Yes, it's clean. Yes, it looks better than some others, but how can I make this order field, for instance, be required only at certain times or be hidden only at certain times if, if a user has selected something else at the beginning of the form. So yeah, like we say here in Cyprus, tihame tihasame basically translates, well, we had nothing, we lost nothing. All right, boys and girls. So now we're taking a look at the fields. What kind of field types are we working with? And yes, there's so many good basic fields here. Everything's there. There's not much to discuss other than the formula. Now, this is where Airtable, SmartSuite, all of these big hitters really need to pay attention because this is unlike anything I've tested in the recent past, at least when it comes to low code DB builders, that is, of course. So formula field. First of all, I love the size. It's not too small, uh, which is kind of like what I feel when I see Airtable's formula builder and it's not too large. It's just right. So here, let's say I'm in my order line items and I just want to do a simple product times quantity, for instance, right? So let's go a formula line item price. You can describe the formula and it will actually generate using AI. So let's do that. The product price multiplied by the quantity. 
generate using AI. How freaking cool is that? It just made it, right? Now, there is more to this. The other reason why I'm so excited about this whole thing is because it has a very decent selection of functions. And there is one function that I feel is head and shoulders the best thing since sliced bread, and that is filter. Now, let's take a look at something else here. They are also giving me the ability to actually see examples, not just one, but multiple examples of that expression. So I can see filter, then expression, extracts entities that match the filter, clearly explaining what this expression does. But then I get these very nice, very intuitive examples. So example, remaining effort in a project, tasks, which refers to a related field that is important, then dot filter. So I'm filtering a related table, which is so cool. State dot final equals true. So in some shape and form, you're basically bringing in figures from here in an array. And then you can take this even further by summing up those figures by summing up effort. In other words, you're kind of saying that filter my tasks by the state where the final is not true and sum up the effort of those tasks. Mind blown. It's so freaking cool. So of course they have all the rest of the functions that you know and expect finds and, and all of that. But this is absolutely amazing. Now, of course, I'm just going to add this formula now. You can, of course, set up the formatting of said thing. And there you have it. It works. It's all amazing. So, yeah, big thumbs up on the formula builder for the Fiverr team. They've built something absolutely amazing that I wish we had in other platforms. All right. Time for some special features. Now, there's two categories to this, at least for me. Usually, I'm looking for something AI-based. And these guys have been around since 2018. And boy, oh boy, do they take AI super seriously. And I'm looking at you, Airtable. So they've sprinkled AI pretty much in a lot of the places where it really matters when it comes to building stuff. So as I've already shown you, we've got AI in the formula field. You can just generate a formula using AI. How cool is that? And it works. It's not a beta feature. It's an actual feature that works really, really, really well. Then we have the ability to configure a database using natural language. This is something that I've been asking few founders these days in our interviews, like Michael Skelly from Stacker, Bram from Baseroak. I've asked these guys, you know, when are we going to see natural language editing of a database using AI? And they're all, you know, kind of like uh, wondering, but these guys are already doing it. I've tried it. It doesn't work particularly well. It's in beta but it's there. They're daring to let this feature loose to potential new clients. So why not? Now, they've also included AI in the search. So you can use AI to search for things. Yeah, they're taking this stuff very, very, very seriously. Now, the other interesting thing that they've got going on, it's, of course, automations. They have their own little automation platform. It's not as fantastic as something like make.com, but it's close to that Airtable vibe. There's only one thing missing, and I feel like I can do that with a script. By the way, we have scripts, so you can execute JavaScript code. But one thing that's kind of missing is that you can't bind records. So a search would be fantastic to include because I can create, I can update, I can delete, I can run a script. I can create, like I can do a bunch of different things, but finding a record is missing from this. If it existed, it would make my life a little bit easier. But I mean, as long as there's scripting, I think we're fine. So yeah, awesome that they have this and can't complain, really. Now, concluding this 24-hour review, I want to take you to the form builder. 
there's something that I noticed that kind of tickled my interest. And at the very bottom of this thing, we have Powered by Fibery, product discovery and development platform. Now, I feel like putting Fibery in that particular niche might be good in the eyes of the marketing executives of Fibery. But to me, this is like describing a private jet as an object that has got wheels. Fibery is so much more. And if you treat it with the respect that it deserves, it can really be a fantastic tool, even if you're not in product discovery or development. Now, there's about six things that I would like to see done better with Fibery, of course. First and foremost, the form builder. Guys, you've built such a fantastic platform with so many advanced features. Come on, juice this up a little bit. This, this can be so much more. The next thing, and this is kind of like a basic one, but I would like to have more options when it comes to right clicking a field. Right now, there aren't any. I can only click over here in the little meatball symbol and edit, delete, relation, that's it. There's not much else. So this definitely needs an improvement. I want to be able to right click the header of a field and have my options there because that's what I'm used to. Working with Excel, working with SmartSuite, working with Airtable, working with Click. Like everybody does it, why not you? How did this slip your mind? I just don't get it. Next thing that I would like to see changed is the grid views. Please, oh please, make some change to this because ideally I would want this whole thing to be redone, rethought. I do prefer the database view to this. It's just a little bit odd that I can't group stuff properly. Yes, it's nice to know that we have a filter and it's all great, but it should be done a little bit better, especially in terms of grouping by a certain field. Now, the next thing that I'm not sure if I missed is some kind of a front end interface. And if it doesn't exist, then definitely would be one of those things that I would like to see Fibery do in the short term, because there's so many people who are allergic to grid views or to spreadsheets. And if you want your whole team to use this, you kind of need some kind of an interface. Airtable is doing a fantastic job with this. There's third party front ends for so many different systems like no loco, stacker, softer, the list goes on. You kind of need it, especially if at the core of your product, you're really a relational database builder. The final two things that I would like to see different or improved. Number one, the automation platform. I wish we could have like a mini make, mini respell setup here because I want to be able to have more advanced automations compared to the ones that we get with Airtable, which kind of borders on what you can do or especially in the past could do with Zapier where it's like really page like. So that's following those footsteps. I wish we could have like a mini respell inside of the platform. That would be just kick ass. Now, the final thing that I would like to see in Fibery is the addition of a select expression, because right now I have a filter function and we kind of talked about this, but the problem with it is that it has to rely on a related field. You can't have a non-related field and use filter. So a select expression would allow me to just select from any table that I have in my arsenal and maybe potentially compare certain things. Maybe the name of this client from this table matches the name of that client from that other table. They might not be related, but I still want to fetch data from there. That's end game stuff. That right now is only doable with an app sheet. And it's a huge reason why people, experts prefer app sheets to a lot of low code database builders because they have this amazing functionality to be able to just fetch data from anywhere and just bring it into wherever you're working. Now, I really feel like I've bumped into a diamond of a tool and I'm really wondering why aren't they more popular? But ultimately, I want to see how they evolve in the upcoming months and years and see where they take the platform. Definitely, I'm a fan. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Now, let me know down in the comments below if you agree with the stuff that I've mentioned about Fibery. Looking forward to seeing what you think. That's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.